Yo, what up? It's your boy, Black Gritty. What up, Black Gritty? Jason, say hi to the people. How we doing, man? Check me out at IQMZ Sports on Twitter. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I am excited because I'm a Flyers fan, right? Yes. And we're doing great this season, right? Whoa. That's what we're here to talk about tonight, they're, they're the Flyers? Winning. They're winning right now. They are winning right now. Because if everything's going Philadelphia's way. Everything. So, so. <laughs> we, we, we might as well start with the lowest totem pole, just talking about the Flyers. And if this girl calls me one more time asking me to buy season tickets again, I'm like, we <laughs> suck. Why do you keep calling me thinking that I'm going to buy a season ticket package right now? If you, if you gave it to me for free, I might show up to like 50% of the games. You couldn't even sell the tickets. Uh, no. <laughs> no. But she's calling me every day like, oh, no, stop it. She cute and all, but no, not doing it. Anyway, Flyers are winning currently, but they lost 11 in a row, 10 in a row, just breaking my heart. But we're not here about them. James Flyers. Harden is back tonight. James Harden. The beard is back. The beard is back in Houston, and they are... Sixers are losing. By one point. <laughs> Do you know that in Harden's absence, P.J. Tucker scored three points in like seven games? Yes, he shoots about as well as I do, but he might look slightly better with the T-shirt under the jersey. He's Ben Simmons, <laughs> but older. And but <laughs> older, and nobody's saying anything about it. And Glenn Rivers has him out on the court for 97 minutes a game and refuses to let Thibel play. I hated that contract when it happened. I'm going to hate it next year. I'm going to hate it a year after that. And Thibel, again, I know he's been banished for not getting vaccinated, but he's improved his game. He's going to the rim more when he's getting an opportunity to shoot. He's shooting because he knows he's only got five minutes on the court. I'll take him or B-Ball Paul over P.J. Tucker. All day <laughs> long. B-Ball Paul. Uh, so Tobias is playing well, though. Tobias is playing well because Tobias needs to have the ball in his hands a lot. When nobody's, trade him. Yes, trade him. <laughs> when nobody is around, to, yeah. if you're on a losing team and you had nobody, Tobias would be an all-star. He would be putting up 35 points a game like because he could, he could do it. He just doesn't do anything within a full and complete team. He should be a six-man, but he's getting paid like – a yeah. superstar. Yes. So, it was crazy that they were the best defensive team in the league with uh, Harden and Maxi off the floor. <laughs> and that was because of hustle. I went to the yeah. game. I went to two games. I saw the one game uh, without uh, Joel and another game with Joel. And it's just amazing how at the end of the game, everybody just is scared to shoot now. They just want to give the ball to Joel. And I understand Joel is your superstar and he's got to finish. But you won games without any of those three. Right. You can and shoot. You, you can it's shoot. Okay. <laughs> You're wide open. Like that right. that's the thing too. Like people are being left wide open because they're doubling Joel. Stop feeding him the ball. And they learn how to not have turnovers. Yeah. With all the stars out. So yes. I, I don't know. It's just it's the Sixers. We, we, same thing we always say. We need to get them out of the second round. Um then, then we're really tough. Yeah. But, but we buried the lead today. We buried the lead today. And it's not even <laughs> The Eagles. It is not. It is not the Eagles. Eagles are 11 and 1. We'll come back to that. The Phillies are spending <laughs> crazy money. Oh my God. We get everybody. We go back to the World Series. We spend it. Show me deal, the money. The huh? I love that deal that they signed today, by oh, the way. Oh. Okay. So if you don't like the deal, well, you're, you're signed a shortstop for 11 years. Yeah. Why did you what about when he's 40? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Guess what? Yes, they'll be gone by then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, uh, there's an old clip going around of a, like a, a, um, a, a racist segregist. He's like a senator. He's like, segregation today, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Spend this money today because we're going to have fun tomorrow and we're going to have fun forever. Right. All I care about is a three-year window. Right. If, I, if I get a championship, I don't care what happened because in the Bryce Harper era, we got a chip. You can get me two? Oh, now we cook it with Crisco. But you could possibly stretch it to a possible three, depending on what you do with pitching. Yeah, pitching matters now. Now we're now it's time to get these pitchers. The lineup is set. They need a closer. They need a closer. They need another starter. And and you know what? If I want to get greedy and you want to go with the luxury tax, because we got like $34 million to spend, so we're going to go over it regardless. So if you're going to go over it, go ahead and get me another reliever, too. Yeah, definitely. Like Nice power arm. If you get me two pitchers, you get me three pitchers. Oh, I might skeet skeet all over Philadelphia. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm so excited. But like, then you look at that deal because it's 11 years, 300 million dollars. Yeah. So as that deal goes, you know how contracts keep going up. That's going to be such a below market deal in two years. It'll be below market by about 15 million dollars. Bryce Harper's worth 500 million dollars, right? <laughs> and we got him for 320. Right. 
The, the man's worth five hundred million dollars. Right. I don't know that Trey Turner's worth three hundred million, but it's the tax of paying for free agents in baseball. That's how it works. Trey Turner is <laughs> not worth three hundred million dollars. Somebody else probably would have gave him a two hundred fifty million dollar deal with less years. But we went over, above, and beyond because now is the time to win, baby. You know so another I, good reason. I don't think he's worth it. But I, it ain't right. my money. <laughs> Spend that money. Right. Bring joy to my heart. Open and day. I was so happy when I saw that today. Like, oh, my goodness. Uh, Let's go. So uh, <laughs> this is what happens when somebody I, – I keep saying it. Bryce, thank you for choosing me. When somebody <laughs> chooses me that is an all-star and can bring people. Joel B is a superstar. He ain't brought nobody to this city. Not yet. Not – ain't nobody – he cries and he whines. He's not bringing anybody to my city. Fair. He's not a leader. <laughs> Joel Embiid is not going to bring anybody to the 76ers. We got to trade and wheel and deal and do everything we got to do. But nobody's just coming here saying, I want to play with the best big man in the league. Which is crazy. By Which me. is crazy. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so I, I love Bryce Harper. Yeah, you know his buddies here. I don't care. The damn crew. <laughs> Yo, hopefully he knows a couple <laughs> pictures. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. shoot. I love Bryce Harper being here in Philadelphia. He is a magnet. For star and talent and man alive. It's just exciting. And not only that, adding Turner makes their defense better now. Because now Stop moves to second base. Yes. And now up the middle with Marsh, Stott, Real Muto, their defense is solid as could be. Left field and right field? Le- less than okay. But, it, but it, <laughs> they can hit, it, hopefully. And it's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to be okay. I mean, not for nothing, unless you're the Dodgers, you can't literally just put a name at every position. Right. But Philly's we've got... close. Yeah, we're, we're close. <laughs> we're damn close. And there's always, like, the surprise guy, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, uh, dude, oh, man, it's driving me crazy right now. The, the guy with the big beard, I, I'm Work. blanking on his name, that we brought in. Marsh? Like, Marsh. Yeah. Marsh was surprising, had some moments in the playoffs. Yes. So, I mean, you, you you can plug and play some guys that get things done and help you out because the core now, Schwarber? Right. If Castellanos moves out of Ben Simmons' house, <laughs> we might have something. We know realtors. We, we know do them. know realtors. Like, no joke. <laughs> Sage it ain't working. Matter of fact, burn it down. Build up something up on the structure like the Poulter guys. Just get all the dead bodies out of the basement and rebuild. Cause he's, uh, no, he's, they just need to leave it as rubble so yeah, nobody ever lives nobody there Nobody ever again. lives like, there again. Yeah, it. just... <laughs> Turn it into a park. Thanks, Ben Simmons. <laughs> Made with the bricks of Ben Simmons. Who's Ben Simmons, uh, by the way? Never heard gosh. of him. Never heard of that guy. He hardly plays basketball anymore, yeah. even though everybody tried to poo-poo and yell, you guys don't know, see, he's back. He was back for like four games, and now he's he hurt again. He did have again. four okay games. He did. Okay games, averaging eight points a game. And yes. we're and talking about this guy. Oh, gosh. And I was a big fan of that player that I don't name anymore at I the know. time. I know you were. I was wrong. I was, I, hey, I was in yep. rookie then, year. Yep. I was with the rookie campaign. The second year, I was in. The third year, I started looking at you like, eh. Uh, we had a lot of arguments about that. Oh, man, we were fighting because I'm like, bro, it's been <laughs> two years now. You're like, give me that, give me do. And it wasn't just I you. I didn't say that. It wasn't you. It was like <laughs> half the city. My boy Harry was just, just oh, man, you you negatively. you just negatively. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you. I don't, I, look, like I said, I tell you all the time, all I know is people. My superpower is people. And even though I never met him, I can look through the screen and feel like this dude's Fugazi. <laughs> he he was literally an Instagram model. He come out showing his ass and titties all week long, <laughs> and then you go out to dinner, and she buttoned up in a straight jacket talking about I only eat filet mignon and lobster, and you ain't going to see my ass. I done seen it all week. What you mean I can't <laughs> see it now? I'm here now. I'm buying dinner. What you mean I can't see it? I, I done looked at it online. <laughs> That's what he do. All summer long, he's shooting J's and threes and... Dunking and running, flying all over everybody, getting the game, buttoned up, can't see no titties, no ass. That is Ben Simmons. Those videos were exciting for oh. two years. Then after he like stop this. Oh man. And like I said, I got so much hate from people yeah, I'm ripping on him. I used to love calling the radio stage. They used to hang up on me. <laughs> now they love Black Gritty. You know what I mean? But they used to hang up on me because I was ripping them. Any Hoozy, six are still kind of suck. Oh, we tied it up right now yeah. with the Rockets. So the Philadelphia Eagles. Hold on. The eleven and one. The 11 and 1. Oh, that was a false start by me. My bad. Oh, my bad. My, my bad. bad. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. The 11 and 1 Eagles. He stole my joke. I did steal his joke. <laughs> he had tied it all up to me and everything, but he forgot. He punted on me. So I'm saying, so I got to bring it back. Uh, 11 and 1. I can't believe this. Uh, I I can't believe it either. And, and again, people that know me, I love being negative. Ain't nothing more fun than <laughs> snapping on people and Brett Clowning and Kalanja Clowns and mm-hmm. just making up fun names to talk trash. 
But when we're winning and I'm happy, it's so much fun. It is so good. And again, I, I'm glad that I gave myself the opportunity to see what Jalen Hurts would become. Yes. Because last year I was like, oh, we got to the playoffs. They ran the ball. All I wanted was them to run the ball. They mm -hmm. ran the ball. We didn't have weapons. I said, if you guys go off in the offseason and get him weapons and he still can't do it, then I feel. Then we know. Then we know. Right. They got him the weapons. He looked great. A.J. Brown caught a ball like Madden. I don't ever want to hear you. <laughs> Or anybody else complain about Madden and tell me oh. that it's a glitch and it's not real <laughs> when you put your hands out through the guy's yeah. helmet, catch the touchdown, and pull the ball back. That's you, what know, they do. you know how many people, I, you know how many times you unplug the game yes. when you're just like getting zoned out and the ball just literally goes through the first half and you're like, that's impossible. AJ Brown made it possible. It was funny in the first half when the Eagles were getting all those flags. Yeah. I told uh, Kate, I'm like, this is like one of those Madden games when you're playing where the computer just decides, like, hey, man, not today. Not today. You. And you're like, come on. A hold? Like <laughs> so all the false starts were legit. Yeah, they were. Yeah, the holding. Sure. There's holding on every play that yes. I'm screaming at the TV because I want my own calls. But they were just calling everything. It was. Yes. Brr, brr, that one brr, personal brr. foul they called on the Titans when he landed on Hertz was such BS. Oh, man. It was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> at the same time, I was just happy that he finally got a call. Yes, because he never gets those. And. For all the people, oh, we're just, just talking all over the place. because So exciting, matter. that's why. Oh, so exciting. When he got slammed with yeah. another um, penalty through a flag he threw, but he, what was he doing? Standing in the pocket, standing tall, trying to deliver a well, ball down. hurt if he runs, except he won't. But Yeah, because <laughs> when he runs, he's dipping and diving, and he gets down. Now, again, he can still get hurt, but, I mean, we've seen more non-mobile quarterbacks get hurt. Jimmy Garoppolo, bro foot, out again. Man, does anybody ever get hurt more than him? He's got the worst luck. Every time he starts to hit the ascension again, he gets hurt again. I mean, he got to that but, one Super Bowl, but every other year he just, and he didn't even start that year. But he's not super unlucky, though, because he's kind of, you know, he's got the, yeah. you know. Porn star Jimmy yeah, face. He's good, man. He looks good. He's, he's got money. I'm not I'm not crying over him. I'm actually. I do feel a little bad. It's good for the Eagles, though. Yeah, it's good for the Eagles, though. <laughs> it's good for the Eagles. They got that Purdy guy, and they're probably going to get Baker Mayfield. I'm still not worried about it. No. But, uh, man, Eagles, they can't throw the ball. Now it's going to be, well, they threw the ball against the worst passing yes. defense. I don't care because we can also run the ball. They didn't even try to run the ball. Because there was no need. No need. That's the most impressive thing. The two weeks back-to-back, -back, the way that they were able to switch styles, it reminded me of the old school well, old school, sort of, whatever. The Patriots, how Belichick, they used to switch offenses weekly. Yes. You could never tell what they were going to do. They were like, yes. hey, what are you bad at? Yes. That's what we're doing today. You don't cover tight ends? That We got one of those. That That is what Bill Belichick used to do, and that is what early Tom Brady used to do. Yes. The thing that cracks me up, I hate Tom Brady. Fuck Tom Brady. That's Fuck yeah, you if you like fine. Tom Brady. I don't like Tom Brady. Michigan. But <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so the, uh, the thing that I, I understand about Tom Brady is early on, when they were winning Super Bowls, Tom wasn't doing much. Right. He was handing the ball off. He was throwing the ball the short, Until managing the game, and the defense was there. You know what I mean? Like, the defense mm -hmm. was there. And then they went on a 10-year drought of even getting anywhere where people were just like, oh, they're going to go back to Super Bowl. And if it wasn't for <sighs> Pete Carroll and his dumbness, they wouldn't have <laughs> went back on their next little dynasty run. But Maybe it was Russ. Maybe it was Russ. <laughs> Russ he was, can't he, was, cook. he wasn't cooking. <laughs> and... Uh, but the thing is that even through all that time, they would morph year to year. Yes, every time. They would just ebb and flow like, man, they're running some dude that I've never heard of. He's got four touchdowns. Yeah. Okay. That, they were the first ones. They were like, hey, now we have two tight ends that are good. Yeah. Nobody can cover that. And then I'm like, Wes Walker did what? Right. Wes Walker did what? Mm -hmm. And they were on like three-yard passes. Yeah. Like slant, 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 they slant. Catch 120 and of oh them. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that is that is the most comparable thing. You know, going 380 on the ground one week and then going yeah. 380 in the air the next week. And the Titans, again, they're 7-4, and four, but they, they're in the Eagles' uh, NFC East bracket where everybody says, Oh, they haven't beaten anybody until they beat you. Once they beat you, everybody's on their dick. But you know, when the they haven't beat you. People keep saying about people haven't beat them because there's not that many good teams this year. So who are you supposed to beat? And the whole like, league is running the ball. Nobody's really passing the ball that well. That's because the way defense is played now. Yes. So I am so happy that they tackled. If Perfectly. They, they took that personally because there have been so many games where again, I, I, rail, I rail on Gannon. I don't like Gannon, but he's been better this year, much superior this year than last. But there's been so many times where you're like, man, 
If you would have just tackled, the defense would have looked okay. And that's all they need. Yeah. So I, they met him in the hole. They didn't shy away. Safeties, um, cornerbacks, everyone was tackling. Not just the linebackers, not just the D-line, not just uh, – Everybody was tackling. Even the special teams was tackling. Even special teams was tackling. <laughs> they were the, hitting. The Kobe got a hit. And ta- like it was just Ellis had a hit. A, a Covey w- was out here running. Yeah. Oh man, he 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 heard he heard his job going online. Yep. <laughs> he heard him getting get cut down to the practice squad. That not from, that white boy was running. Boy. That, he was way. running like white lightning, grease lightning <laughs> this week, boy. He was like, "Don't send me back, boss. Don't send me back." He. He was running. You know what's always crazy when I watch the Titans play? What? Derrick Henry is one of the greatest running backs all time, right? Mm-hmm. For sure. Mm-hmm. He's big as hell. Mm-hmm. He's fast as hell. Mm-hmm. He goes down easy as hell on contact. He'll stiff arm you to death, but if you get him, he goes down. So if you hit him, if you meet him at the line of scrimmage, yep, he goes down. He goes down. That's it. He doesn't break If he tackle. gets three yards out it's from the line of scrimmage, yeah, it's, it's a wrap. Yep. Because he's literally like the juggernaut. Once you yeah. get his momentum going, <laughs> he's like, do, 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 yeah. do. so <laughs> <laughs> every time I watch him, I'm like, man, he got stuffed easy on that. Like, there's l- nothing. Last week, I watched the uh, a lot of the Titans uh, playback just because yeah. I wanted to, you know, do okay. my little due Scouting. diligence. Yeah, and he uh, said notes he, again. And yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah, just yeah, exactly. Watch out for the run. So he <laughs> didn't. Yeah, I'm sending it to BG. I mean, me and BG, BG, we got the BG connection. Yeah, you're like, hey, BG, I think right. they're going to give the ball to Derek Henry. Right, I just right. have a feeling. Right, just just stop getting sacks at the end of games. Get one early. For he me. got one early. He did. That's what I told him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told him. The pass but um, uh, so for that, Henry, yeah, thirty yards. Yes, and if you hit him before he gets his momentum up, mm-hmm. he does just go down. Yes. But you got to make that tackle. Yes. Because if you don't, like, then again, yep. he hits the fourth step, and it's literally like a video game. Like, he just yep. starts running down, and then you're right. He's stiff arming. He's running through people. People are bouncing off of him. So Right, and the Titans are the antithesis of the Eagles, where they can only win running the ball. Yes. If you force them to throw, they can't win. They can't do it. You can't win. And uh, what did you just bring up? What? That poo-pooed you about the for a second? Rush rush the pass rush was dominant. great. <laughs> so when you can't run, and this team gets to pin their ears back, our secondary is good enough to be one-on-one coverage, mm-hmm. and then when Gannon plays that little shell zone crap, and if you suck at quarterback, like Tenno, that's where I feel like the defense really shines. If you suck at quarterback, they'll dominate you. They'll dominate you. Yep. That's why last year, again, I guess it's because he quote unquote didn't have the horses. He played the same kind of defense, and dudes that suck were throwing seventy percent on us. That was so annoying. They're like, yeah, <laughs> y'all are just gonna. So you're literally gonna be right there every. T- right. <laughs> You're just gonna okay, like <laughs> like what are we doing? And then we would win games because we'd run out the clock and keep the ball from people. But everybody was throwing for 65, 70 percent against us. But this year, everything's changed around. We've got the horses, you know, bringing in Sue and um, Jefferson, and then Val Joseph. Joseph, I wanted him to play all five of those guys on the D line against Henry. Oh, all the D tackles, that no would be ends, crazy. right? Just that, that would be crazy. <laughs> Sue Cox Hargrave, your boy uh, Davis. Your, uh, so. Unlike the trash boys, we actually take our players out, our starters out once we're up on people. Yeah, we could put up a 50 burger on somebody, but we have respect for the league and the NFL. So we got to see Nicobe get in there. Yeah, I thought he looked good. I thought he looked good, he too. He led the team in tackles, which I didn't realize. Yeah, until I heard Seth Joyner Whoa. tell me how slow he is and how it, he's never going to get on the field. Now I'm he might. sure Seth watched the game. Now, he might not be. <laughs> we'll talk about that in two seconds. <laughs> like, he he just, might not be better than. Uh, our our linebackers right now starting, I think but he it, still might be better than White. I think see, he's a faster reaction player, but he doesn't have the experience. So I I'll say no because he's not on the field. Because okay. if he was better, then they put him on the field. I believe yes, that they enough. would. So, but I do believe he he'll, he'll get better. Yes, being in the league, he's got to get a little and, stronger too. Yes, and and uh, him getting his his moment to shine and playing that in that fourth quarter, I was impressed with it. He flashed on the screen to me. I oh, literally was like, one, oh, who's that? When they had Willis in the game, that one handoff, he blew that hand up, up so fast. Yeah. Connor happened to be downstairs watching that, and he was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I don't. again, I don't know what Seth was looking at. Now, Seth cracks me up because he got in a lot of hot water because he's complaining during the game. He's like a fan. He's live tweeting. Why are we letting Tannehill run like that? Yeah. Gannon sucks. The shell sucks. Everybody <laughs> sucks. And then everybody obviously piled on him. But my thing with that is, is that once the team reached – uh, seven and zero. Once team reached seven and zero, I was done with being negative in the games. Right. I had belief that we were coming back to win. 
I, I just gave up on the whole, oh, man, they're messing up. Because usually those mess-ups would come early in the game, and then by the second half, they were making adjustments, they were fixing it. So for him to be on the internet complaining and, and, and bitching, which he's right to do his analysis, his critique of the game, I'm more worried about all them false starts and penalties. But they'll go away, too. They'll go away, too. That's something they do. The yeah. weirdest thing Seth said was about the interceptions, though, after the game. When he said, when's the last time this team got an interception? He'd be like, two I, I feel, last I, week. Yeah, and I feel like that was a brain fart by yeah, him because but, why would you say that? Right, like you know I mean? they like, lead the league in interceptions. Yeah. What are you saying? Like, <laughs> So, can't have all the stats all the time. but Right, you can't be one in all of the things. Yeah, like, if somebody, <laughs> that's somebody's in your ear. But when he said it, I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Right, like, we better. lead the league in turnovers. Right. And now the Cowboys are behind us, and that's because they got five turnovers last night from the Colts. Jeff Saturday, that was a good hire. Oh, man. And my favorite thing about that is <laughs> Michael Irvin today was doing the Michael Irvin oh, thing. best team ever. Common opponents. Yeah. We beat the, the brakes off the Colts, and they barely beat them. Yeah. We beat the brakes off of Minnesota. They lost barely the beat them. But I'm like, yeah, but you lost to the Packers, though. Right, and we beat the brakes off them. And we beat the brakes What's off up? them. So I'm like, wait, wait, Also, wait. hold on. Let's do another one. We played y'all. And we meet y'all. Beat him. Yeah, and Stephen A., uh, the clown show that he's become, he, he only can remember that they beat them. And I was like, you didn't remember the Packers? Right. That bad mm -hmm. man who faked his rib injury last week to yeah, get to out get of that, that Eagles game? ass yes, whooping? he did. He faked it because he came out. and he, I saw him get rocked twice in the Bears game. Got up no problem. If your ribs are messed up, that's not how you react. Doesn't heal in a week. No. Your ribs do not heal in a week. And he damn sure healed up when Jordan Love threw a couple good passes out oh, there. He was like, oh, I feel better. I feel better. Yeah, he did. He was good. Yeah, he did. So, you know. Have you ever seen a player hold an organization hostage like that? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. crazy to me that they will not let go of him. Brett Move Favre on. did the same thing. But they, they ended up cutting him eventually. Yeah, they might end up cutting Aaron yeah. eventually. It's craziness, man. That's what they do. What a weird organization. That's what they do. They're like they're like the Pittsburgh uh, Steelers. Like they just <laughs> we only get one quarterback. <laughs> we can't years. let him go twenty years. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like I didn't. I love Mike Tomlin, but again, in my research and events, I just was like, oh, they're too. turning around, they're getting it back. And so I went and just was listening to uh, uh, Pittsburgh radio. Yeah, they call him mediocre, mediocre Mike out there. That's wild. Me Mike Tomlin <laughs> never is had called a losing season until this mediocre year. Mike. Like people are ripping this dude, one him gone, and I'm like, what? Hmm. Mediocre Mike. Yeah, he's never had a losing season. He's gotten you a Super Bowl. Right. Two. 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 Two I think. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. Don't care. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> he, he got one. At least he got one. He does have one. <laughs> and he's got a team. That he's got to rebuild. What do you want from this dude? And what do you think you're going to get from somebody else? That was not, they kept Roethlisberger too long. They kept Roethlisberger like, too move long. Move on. That that was the hostage move they did. Yes. They but they but then they had the year where they went eleven and one and like stuff would happen where he would just get them wins and it it was funny they're like that team was like the Vikings this year because the Vikings all their wins are with are uh, seven points or less every yeah. game they win it's within seven points and some weird interception happens at the end so it's funny every time we're talking about the best teams in the league the Vikings are never mentioned and no one's like that's disrespectful they're the second seed you're like yeah but you know no one believes in Kirk Cousins that's why yep no one believes in Kirk. Except for that little white boy that had on all the chains. Good for him, though. Yeah. Have fun at the game, man. Be and, a fan. That's what and, you're supposed to do. And, and he was eight years old. It was yeah. his birthday. Hey, shine great. on him. Yeah. Shine <laughs> on him. He was out there swimming in jewelry. You know what I mean? So that was Nothing great. negative on that one. Have, no, no. Enjoy that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So um, just stop being in Negadelphia. It's hard. Just stop it out there. <laughs> if, if, you, if you're listening, you're still negative. Stop being negative. Ah. Uh. Um, the <laughs> As six, the Sixers turn the ball the, over, yeah, the six, oh, uh, I shouldn't even put the game on. No, even though I see it over the pan tens, you can't no, focus. I'm just kidding. I'm focused. You're I was not focused. be negative for a second. Oh, Had to get it out. That's right. Because <laughs> it's Negadelphia. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else we missed? Oh, we got the Phillies big contract. We got yep. Eagles are going to win. They're going to beat Eagle the Giants. Eagle in. Eagles need to win four of the last five to yep. lock up the number one seed. So even if that Dallas game somehow didn't go their way. So in rush. my heart, I wish they'd lost to the Cowboys and still won out so that we could either meet the Cowboys and beat them in the playoffs where it feels better. Yeah. Um, because I will say this, as dumb as it sounds, it's hard to beat a team three, 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 times, three times in a yeah, year. Absolutely. And I'd rather lose. If I, if I had to pick a choose, I'd rather lose during the year knowing yeah. I have the rest of everything sewn up the way I need it sewn up. Oh, give, give them the false bravado that they need. ESPN now has the Cowboys as the highest probability to make the Super Bowl, which makes no sense at all. 50-50 shot. Like, come on. 
Stop and the Eagles have the 30. Right. And the 49ers dropped all the way down to six. Right. Like, stop this. No, not the 49ers. The Vikings dropped all the yeah, way down to six. Just like, that's insane. Yeah. That's not a statistical thing. No, it's just that, made up. That, mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's the uh, House of Cowboy fans. Like, you have to win on the road if you're not. Dak Prescott is not shown to be able to do that in the playoffs. No, he's not. And they'd have to go. There's possible they'd have to go play Tampa, which Tampa stinks, but. I wouldn't want to play Tampa on the road in the playoffs. No. Like, Especially not McCarthy and his bumbling, stumbling exactly. uh, penalties. Like, the, I'm not worried about nobody. But, again, I'd rather lose the Cowboys in a year yes. than outside of it. Uh, Smart man. I'm uh, O'Docked on the internet, blackradio.com. And, uh, IQMZ Sports. Jason is out here killing it on the Facebook, too, if you want to have breaking news and News media that we steal from the other parts of the internet and aggregate it all yeah, in one place. Time. I don't ever. Uh, I always make sure that's still on there. Whoever posted it. That's right. I don't steal it. That's right. He's I, see. I'll be stealing. I don't have time to steal. I don't be stealing. He is a straight up guy. He just be sharing. <laughs> I be stealing. I put my name on top of everything. I just be making it up. Like, look, I birthed uh, Jalen Alexander Hurts. I'm, <laughs> I'm his uncle. His uncle, dad, father. You know what I mean? I just yeah. be making. That's I'll be telling the girls in the streets. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> uh, follows on the internet oh. and. Find, U.S. soccer, find a striker when you oh. score goals. Oh, God. Need goal scorers. Why are you, <laughs> why, why are you bringing up soccer? Last this is sort of time. Goal scorers. America. USA. <laughs> USA. USA. Next time it's at our house. <laughs> <laughs> Next time it's at our house. Uh, hey, we don't have to qualify. Nope. <laughs> and we're out.